Hey everyone, Tony Dragon here, and I'm trying to catch up with all the new content that E3 came out with. Holy shit, so much came out, and I have a list of reactions I'm doing, but I'm gonna try to keep things to five uploads maximum a day, so you guys don't get overwhelmed with 20 to 30 videos of me trying to catch up in a rush of with all the reactions I missed out on. Like, you know, like V3 came out with 20 videos I want to react to. I react them all in one night, edit them all in one night, and then in the morning you wake up and you find 20 videos in your sub subscription box, and it's just too much. So I'm gonna keep it up to five ma maximum. Um, but I want you to do. I want you to know that I have reacted to everything by this point. By the time you're watching this reaction, everything has been reacted to. Everything's in the editing stage, and it will come out. You know, within you know the next couple of days you know like I said five a day uh, at least that's what I'm aiming for anyway uh, one of the big ones I want to react to first is Spider-Man for the PS4 E3 I love Spider-Man he's my favorite superhero and he always seemed like the easiest to make a video game out of and yet they still somehow screw it up every time um, the last Spider-Man game I played was I made Spider-Man 2 and while the story had some good ideas here and there. The actual gameplay was rather bare bones and it just felt kind of uh, repetitive and boring. So, yeah, I'm disappointed. Like, a lot of the superheroes, in terms of actual their fighting style, feel like they could be made into great games, but they just keep failing over and over again. I'm thinking, like, why? But here we have a new Spider Man for the PS4 coming out soon. And I don't know what uh, what version of Spider-Man it's gonna be. Maybe it's gonna be based on the new Spider-Man movie coming out. I'm kind of hoping it is, uh, because I do I do like the new actor they got for this new Spider-Man. He's he he's a lot of fun. He has a lot of potential to be probably possibly one of the best Spider-Man in cinematic history. I mean, I as much as I love Tobey Maguire's uh, version and uh, Andrew Garfield's version. This one just feels more like he is the Spider-Man I grew up with. You know, he's the the very always, you know, talking about, you know, always the smart talker, the smart ass, you know, in combat, but the very awkward nerd in, you know, when he's just Peter Parker. Andrew Garfield seemed too cool to be Peter Parker. He just feels like, yeah, he skateboards, he's like a cool guy to hang out with. He doesn't he didn't seem like the nerd, the awkward outsider. Tony McGuire did at times feel like the outsider, but his his lines for uh, when he was Spider-Man were kind of cheesy and not well, you know, written. This one's uh, this new Spider-Man seems like the best mix. Like when he's Peter Parker, he is nerdy, he is awkward, he is one of those guys you don't know how to you know talk to because he's always nervous around you. It's just like uh, you know, like I, I don't know what to say to you without you know feeling like I'm ending up in a very weird com you know situation. And when he's Spider-Man, you know, he he's constantly talking. He's really annoying his enemies, and that's the point. You know, he's trying to alleviate his stress. You know, he's like, or his anxieties. Like, he's in a battle to the, he could be in a battle to the death, and he just wants to make, some, make himself laugh, and that's what he's doing. He's trying to forget the fear. So, I'm really hoping that's what they, you know, you know focus on in the Spider-Man movie. Show us that kind of Spider-Man. But anyway, the game... Um, I don't know what it's going to be about, so, so we actually get to watching it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Only on PlayStation. Cool. People see me and think they're safer. But it's not really me they're seeing. All right. Insomniac Games! Probably for the best. Knowing everything hinges on a guy from Queens sounds as scary as it feels. That's already like huge thumbs. No pressure, right? Thumbs up from me. Oh wow, I love that. I love that outfit. Ooh. Damn. So far, it's hard to tell for me what's gameplay and what's actually just cinematics, but... Okay. Nice! Woo! 
Oh, okay, that's gameplay. That might be quick some of it, maybe? I don't know. Oh man, in development. Okay, so there's no announcement date yet. Man. Alright, that got me excited already. Um, It looked like fast paced, a lot of action, you know, it looked very colorful and vibrant. Um, It looked, it didn't look like they're gonna bring in like a lot of the sci-fi stuff, like that's one of the, my problems I had with Spider Amazing Spider-Man 2, the game, because a lot of these, you know, machines and alien-looking technology coming in and constantly, you know, creating these walls that were annoying as hell. It's like, we, I didn't really need that. I just kind of want to feel like I'm just swinging around the city all free, and then every now and then there'll be a bank robber, and I go take them down. Maybe there'll be a side mission here and there, helping out the civilians. You know, that's what I feel Spider-Man's all about, or at least the Spider-Man game should all be about. Um... Immediately, Insomniac Games. Holy shit. Big thumbs up for me. You guys are amazing company. You make some great game platformers in general, too. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they might do a damn good... If they do a damn good job with this game... Oh, man. Insomniac Games, I love you. I mean, I love the Ratchet & Clank series. Um... Never played Sunset Overdrive. I think that was theirs. I never played it, but it just—I think it's because the marketing was very poor for it. I never even knew about it until like very late in the, you know, when it was supposed to come out. And that by that point, you know, I just like was playing some other stuff and watching some other movies. And I was just like, I don't have time for this. Um, didn't hear too much, too many good things about that. But I love the uh, Ratchet and Clank games. I love the Ratchet and Clank movie. Um, but I'll, I'll leave that alone. I'll just leave it at that. Cause that's uh, that's a whole different thing, uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm really hoping they do a damn good job with this, you know, because uh, I love Spider-Man and I love Insomniac. This is like a match made in heaven for me. Uh, the costume design, um, it looks really cool, but I'm it might take some getting used to with the big white spider on it, cause I'm so used to like the black spider. But maybe the white spider, you know, will just give it more of a new, fresh feeling and just help him, you know, really pop. It just kind of stand by himself compared to all the other Spider-Man costume designs we've had in the, in, you know, times past. So, so many Spider-Man costumes and so, you know, some of them have very little um, variation, but they really help, you know, differentiate the costume. So maybe this one will also be one of those costumes that just really pop out, you know, in your head. You know, later on, year when years have gone by and you remember this game, um, I just said like it, the action looked really fast paced as it should be, and um, Spider Man really looked like he was you know moving around as Spider Man. Uh, some moments looked like they were they were actually gameplay, so you know, and they looked really well done, and the cinem and, and the cinematic parts looked really well done as well. Um, maybe it's gonna be an early Spider Man, like he's just getting used to it, you know, like. And I don't know why, but the fact that he mentioned Queens, it just feels so small time. And I don't know what it is about that, you know, that sense that makes me like this uh, trailer even more. Like, he's just a guy from Queens trying to do what he can with these newfound powers. So maybe it's an origin game. Um, so, you know, just learning the basics and, you know, we get this really great character, you know development over as over the course of the game that you're playing that could be a lot of fun yeah, I'm really hoping for more like I think one of the things that the game kind of missed out on was moments where he, you saw him as Peter Parker you know you don't get attached to him as much as you should so I think that I'm really hoping that they add some at least some cutscenes or some story that involve Peter Parker you know and in his home life and school life you know maybe not complete all cutscenes, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe moments where you can actually walk around the school, and go to school, <laughs> a game where I go to school, why am I hoping for that, I don't know, that's so weird, like, oh, I, I am weird, shit, but anyway, I'm excited, it looks like a lot of fun, 
I can't wait for it to come out. Um, I guess when they come out with an announcement, uh, an announcement date, uh, maybe they'll come out with another trailer, like a gameplay trailer. So, yeah, when that does come out, I'll react to that. And I'll definitely want to see some gameplay. Um, so until then, I'm Tony Dragon. Bye-bye.